We all thought about a sculpture moving, I mean, not literally moving, but the idea of it being able to move from the touch of a human or even the direction of the wind blowing. Alexander Carter created the crinkly with a red disc in 1973. The sculpture is funny shape. It's crinkled, but it has a warm color scheme. And then he used geometric shapes to add creativity. This is where Carter devoted himself to making outdoor monumental sculptures, embodied sheet steel that continue to grace public plazas and cities throughout the world. Carter succeeded and integrate natural movements into sculpture by assembling elements that balance themselves naturally by weight, surface area, and length of wire. The central piece in the new style of objects mobiles was in 1966 creation, the cat mobile, which featured a head and tail that were subject to random motion. Carter was the first to extend this line drawing approach into three dimensions. Carter experimented with other unusual materials. His fur was medium wire. So let's sit back and enjoy some of his medium wire sculptures. Its flexibility and capacity to vibrate may have inspired his kinetic sculptures. This is my favorite wire sculpture because I like how he used broken glass for the fish scales and different types of glass colors. Kinetic art is any art form that involves motion. Alexander Carter changed the course of modern art by developing an innovative method of sculpting, bending, and twisting wire to create three dimensional. Modern art is a style marked by any significant departure from traditional styles and values. Carter recognized that there is an intrinsic performance element in sculpture to which the viewer becomes part of when they are forced to move around it or choose a certain angle to admire it from. So for my student art handmade work, I had some cotton balls, some string, some yarn actually some flowers from construction paper, and I got a little taste of modern art in the background, great-grandmother's picture, flowers, pillows from the couch, and my father. 